All right. So I was just chilling the other night, hanging out on Twitter, you know, scrolling around, doing what I do. And then I look to the right and I notice something. I notice three, I, I noticed the same thing trending three times in three different wordings. All of them having a do, having something to do with World War Three. So, I'm gonna be honest. When I first saw that, the first thing that came to my mind was like, "Okay, Twitter overreacts about things." I'm pretty sure World War Three isn't fucking happening. What's going on? Sure enough, I click on the the trending to find out what's going on with World War Three, and I find out that the U.S. has airstriked Baghdad and killed Iran's most powerful general, uh, Qasim Soleimani, I believe his name is. I can't pronounce it, but I remember his name. Um, hey, Table Manor 16, thank you the f for the $5. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Very generous. Um, says, here's some extra cash since you haven't been streaming for about a month. Just want to, I just want you to keep up with rent and food. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And Comrade Cornu with the tier one gifted sub to Zira says, hello. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. You guys are being great today already. Um, back on topic though. So this was an act of war. Um, the Iranian military has, um, they, they've spoken out. They said that this is going to be met with rep retribution, these actions, um, I think it was the Pentagon that came out with the news, and there is a lot to talk about with this here. We are probably going to war with Iran. We are four days, four days into 2020, and we're going and we're probably going to war with Iran. So there is a lot to discuss here, and I don't feel I should talk about it on stream because, for starters, this is only we're only two days into this. We're two days in. So there's a lot of news that hasn't gotten out yet. There is shit that is constantly happening. Hey, Sophie, thank you for the $15. I really appreciate it. Um, but like I said, there's shit that is constantly happening. News is constantly coming out. F events are going to be unfolding. I don't feel that I should cover this on stream or like the topic of what's going on currently, like some sort of news broadcast. I don't feel like I should cover that on stream and then just have whatever I say potentially end up being wrong, me losing, um, leaving out certain details, anything like that. However, there is one thing involving this that I want to talk about, and that is the draft, okay? So if you're not American or you're from a country that doesn't have a draft, I imagine most of you are Americans. Yeah, Twuppy would be cool to have in here. I've actually been watching Twuppy's uh, Twitch stream. It's been great. Um... So for those of you guys who don't know what a draft is, essentially, it is when the military of your country, um, at least here in America, the way it works is once you, if you are a male, once you turn 18, you have to sign up for the draft, which means if America is ever in a time of crisis or war where they need to conscript more people to become soldiers for the military, they can just legally force you to join the military. You have to, you have to join the military if there is a draft. And all males 18 to 25, I believe, are, are in the, um, in the uh, uh, age range that can get drafted. Hey, Zira, thank you for the 250. I really appreciate it. Um, now, thankfully, there are a few get-arounds, I, I will say. If you are in any way, um, if you are mentally ill in any way, or like uh, neurally atypical, if you have any ailments, things like asthma. I mean, if you've seen Captain America, the first Captain America movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. You can't get into the military if you have certain health issues and whatnot. Um, trans people are also banned from the military, so hey, trans people in chat, you're safe. Um, but then also, you do still have to sign up, yes. Because, yeah, Bone Spurs, um, because there are times it is possible that someday um, th we may be in a situation where pe even people with bad health issues do have to get drafted. But let's be honest here. I'm going to give you my fat take right here. I'm just going to tell it to you. If you're scared about getting drafted, don't worry. It's not going to happen. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not going to happen if you live in America. We have roughly 1 million people in uh, uh, the reserves alone. These are people who uh, are like 
in signed up to join the military and to be conscripted whenever um then they are doing it on purpose we have millions of people we have the largest military in the world we have over a million people in the reserves there's just no way that in a war with Iran or any potential allies that they have that we could end up getting into a fight with, that we are going to run so low on soldiers that we're going to have a fucking um, uh, a draft. It's not going to happen. It, it just isn't. There's so many. And, and the reason for this, there's a few other issues I also have to talk about here. Um, there's, a, there's a reason for this. Um, a lot of people join... We, we have a interesting um, relationship as American citizens with the military. There's a lot of people who have this really weird worship of the U.S. military here in America that, like... Like, like parents that raise their kids to be soldiers, like, they call, they, like, you know, like, you know the kind of families I'm talking about. The kids that always, like, wear camo to school, and they're like, yeah, I'm gonna join the Navy or the Air Force or the military whenever I, I turn 18. Like, like those guys. You know, you know what I'm talking You know the families I'm talking about. So, a lot of those big cringe families that do shit like that. Um, so there's a lot of that, and then there is the fact, and this is what I think is the biggest thing I want to talk about here. The military provides you with shelter, food, money, and I believe health care. So there's a lot of poor people who find themselves with no choice but to join the military. And so now we're in a situation, something that's happening right now. Damn, we hit 300 viewers. Fuck. Great. Um, now we're in a situation where there are a lot of kids... 18-year-olds who joined the military for those reasons didn't expect to actually have to fight in a war because America wasn't at war a month ago, really. Um, that didn't expect to have to kill people or risk their lives. They were joining the military for the reasons I listed before. And now Trump has gone and ordered an airstrike on Iran's most powerful general and then admitted to it publicly in a tweet. He admitted to it by posting a tweet of a low-res American flag on Twitter. That's how he announced it when it happened. So there's a lot that I can go on about this, and I'm probably going to make an uns I'm going to make a scripted, non-streamed video about this as a topic. For the record, I am against this. This is going to be the next war America's in the Iran war with Iran. It's going to happen. I am for the record. I am against it. I'm going to get that out right now. I'm not pro-war with Iran, um, but it's probably going to happen. It it seems that's what's going to happen. Nick Fuentes might be gay. Yeah, I saw the, the Catboy date. I, I don't think it's worth covering personally. I think Nick Fuentes... Nick Fuentes is um, such a troll and, and like such a smug bastard. I feel like he would just do that just for... Um, I feel like Nick Fuentes would have done that Catboy date just for publicity and to get his name around. Vosh already covered it already as well. But there's one last topic involving this whole draft thing that I want to go over, and that's the memes around it. Um, so a lot of people don't actually... M most people, I think, realize there isn't going to be a draft more than likely. But there are people who think there is going to be one. And then you have the memers who are like, Haha, yeah, I'm going to pretend to be mentally ill. Or, haha, I'm going to pretend to be trans so I don't get drafted. And I don't know how I feel about those memes. I feel like if the memes aren't meant to be derogatory to trans people or towards people who have, like, mental illnesses or any type of illness or any um, handicap or anything... I feel like it's not that big a deal, but at the same time, draft do dodging, I feel like might be praxis, you know, because no, no leftist wants to join the fucking military and kill brown people overseas for America's imperialist uh, <laughs> excursions. Um, yeah, I don't know. James Charles tweet was bad. Was it about this? I'm not about to die for an oil company. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. Um, but overall, yeah, draft dodging is probably praxis. What isn't praxis is being Donald Trump and claiming you're super pro-military and, and, and being all for the war and then not be, and not being willing to fight for your country and, and being a draft dodger. If you're in favor of this war and then also a draft dodger, like a 
you know, most Trump supporters are, um, or would be, I should say. Um, that is not Praxis. If you are a leftist who is against war and imperialism and then you draft Dodge, that is Praxis. But I want to talk about this to put all your minds at ease. There will most likely not be a draft. We're probably going to be okay. I don't think we have all that much to worry about in regards to getting drafted. If it happens, then you better believe until my last fucking moment, until the police come, to, the court martial comes to take me to the fucking... Uh, uh, boot camps and shit if there is a draft i will be making content for you guys <laughs> but um you guys don't have much to worry about i promise and and if it ends up happening then maybe i'll uh maybe i'll identify as non-binary because being non-binary does make you trans because non-binary people are valid and hopefully the military sees it that way too and they don't make me go to war because i don't want to fight for donald trump holy shit i'd rather die uh